So there's this Gary's Mod LiDAR game, indicative of the way cameras that use LiDAR scan for digital, and the way that they can be engineered to scan the outside of you if you have markers on you, so that, you know, your little precious form isn't stroking out from all the garbage that you have in your brain. Well, you see the way this works is you're just spraying light across surfaces, and everybody's been ruining porn with... Um, LiDAR, basically, while they claim it's NVIDIA, um, what do they call that? Ray tracing. Ray tracing. That's just LiDAR. This is just LiDAR. So, what we do instead so that people can't ray trace it, or trace it with their really, really weak-ass computers that are just representative of their bodies and physical forms, is so that, you know, when I see it, it's not just ray traced garbage, is you have the entire lighting of the entire situation and everything in it, all the light of the entire scene radiating at the perspective of the alleged, you know, virtual camera. So that way it's all LiDAR lights, but it's being radiated as the light and then it can't be changed. Well, yeah, just that um, this is, of course, porn we're talking about. Yeah, just that. It's the concept they talked about forever ago. It's not for video games. You experiment first with porn that doesn't have as much movement like a video game would uniquely, constantly. Even if it was a video game engine and the porn's rendered in it, it's pre-animations with certain things that shift so you can look better. And all the particles, whenever the camera changes angle or something, every surface has a certain amount of dots that then immediately, a aggressively, angrily shoot the camera like bumblebees with their stingers out and sting the camera, you know, thousands of times to create the dots, hitting it always, sucking at it, but pushing instead, not sucking. Getting pushed at the perspective of the camera right into everyone's eyeballs till they die. I completely agree with this because the version of LiDAR I'm seeing for Gary's Mod here is just a disgusting amount of uranium because uh, people get urine trapped in their body and it gets concentrated from sulfur into uranium by their aura factory systems, by their different organs, because they never do anything right and they do this intentionally to ruin other people's videos and movies and things. So what I'm going to do here is inform everybody that, that that's going to end. That's going to end with what we're saying because you're going to get light into your eyes till your skull and brain is burnt out for your sins of modifying. Yeah. Otherwise, I will never get to ejaculate again because there's no women. So then my body just ejaculates less precious fluid because I can't have sex. So then uh, if I can't even get any good videos, then my body can't even move things through my body. So I'm killing all of you. That's what I'm saying. So I was watching Sonic 2, the home release, and um, the visuals of Jim Carrey and Knuckles, who never communicate with each other, by the way, through this entire temple complex. As you can kind of just see a rough estimate of what they were supposed to do running around, and it's just kind of been used to have them go through random bits of, like, 240p, like watercolored terrain because they have to mix all the graphics into each other. Knuckles punches open this hole here. The background looks terrible. Um, <laughs> it's just, like, hilarious. There's this next scene here where Knuckles um, falls through the ceiling and there's, like, a photoshopped hole. Um, <laughs> you mean not Knuckles. Sonic, sorry, they, they pound around upstairs like it's like your mom's house and they're banging and then they smash through a broken hole in the floor and it's like, you know, photoshopped in and Sonic's 3D character model falls through it and, and then, you know, Knuckles ground pounds Sonic infinitely through some steps for no reason in low quality NVIDIA, break apart CG and uh, don't forget the best of all, the retarded frothy water that happens all over the fucking place that's directly like that sodium gaseous like I don't even know like f just frothiness with no actual water look that's just terrible and it reminds me of like I don't know you know you may get powdered milk from cows it kind of looks like if you took powdered milk 
mixed it with like uranium sunlight and evenly in the air and then you like um let's see here the final step is oh yeah then you dehydrated it even further beyond all belief and then you blew it through an environment as if it was water and uh that's what it looks like so i don't know why nvidia fags decided to re-render everything in uh linear light rays but it's hyper offensive and it's just absolutely insane the amount of effort you'd have to put into the film to do this as a non-sonic fan because it was obviously rendered with physical like you know ati amd graphics that have better water because the water spilling into the temple as jim carrey takes off just looks absolutely abysmal it's all nvidia everything's absurdly terrible okay so nvidia always has an infects pack and so I've seen all the base NVIDIA effects that can be rendered right out of the graphics card with very little effort. Cummy foam water in a box that swirls around. It's avail available on YouTube. I'll put a little video reference here right where my hand is of cummy swirly uh, foam water in a box. And uh, the other NVIDIA effects, you know, goo, 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 flash on through. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the point here is that We need some sort of concept of uh, industry standards for film digital so that this just gets, you know, rejected from a theater. They say, no, that's that's NVIDIA. That's not actually anything other than just like uh, lines of data being shot and not at the screen, like in the environment. So, you know, it's not even our porn solution, which would be the same solution for Sonic the Hedgehog we brought up. Because, okay, the first one is NVIDIA and ATI can do, I mean, not NVIDIA, ATI, AMD, CPU, or a graphics card can render fog perfectly, volumetric at any point. That means you can have it swirl with the character model, walk through it. You can have vents blow up with even more densified fog of a different type and lighting color. You can have all sorts of lights interact with it and it's automated. Uh, so you'd have some sort of a program where you'd have like a street that's like a narrow corridor and um, it would whoosh gas down it and you can change the camera angle from every side and you can have like there's like you can select the number of people you want to walk up and down and walk down it yourself and have it whip in your leather duster and like jump up and down through the vents that are different colored smoke that whip around and like mix volumetrically and like turn on and off the light post to see how the fog interacts in the dark versus the light. Um, another good effect that uh, ATI AMD does really well is fire live fire without they being little render jpegs that go like this and like flame and like or like repeat several panels like this way that way this way that way and do silly shit that's another terrible thing that we see a lot of in nvidia movies so we want a render test just to prove how it works so everybody can always say get your nvidia out of my movie so the flames they're rendered in this algorithmic way that's really simple. It's using the fog frequency, which is why it's so effective of uh, like kind of raising up. And then a bunch of color is added to it, whether it be orange or red or blue for propane. And that's just sort of radiated through it, the color directly, because there's real color instead of color units being rendered by math. So, for example, for the ATI effect, you could have a bunch of uh, braziers that are all lined up to steps that go up to like a temple top. And each of the braziers has like, you know, different flames in it and they all are different colors. And you have like a character model that you can like walk up the steps to the top and see the different flame effects. And you can also like then hit a button at the top of it that makes flames like, like liquid run down like it's fog and turn into flames like representative of it down these, uh, on the sides of the steps, there's the runnels. So it runs down the sides of the temple and you get to see like the smoke being rendered into flames and how it's the same sort of concept and how then they make it black on the edges when it comes off into the air. Um, let's see here. Um, NVIDIA, sorry, not NVIDIA, ATI Water is very, very, very uh, easy to render and you can tessellate it in a much more advanced way than NVIDIA. So, for example, Mario Sunshine's a perfect example of this. The water sweeps into the shore. So what you'd have is a realistic shoreline with palm trees. And the water would sweep in rhythmically, like, 
and you can run into it as it sweeps in and it'll move around your character model dynamically because it's actually being live rendered in the little environment just like a little section of beach and like then you can generate storms that will blow the waves in different ways and have them you know create giant furrows and valleys realistically uh and along with that, you know, you can test out the raw, like, sort of lightning effect, like blue lightning that looks, it doesn't need to be densified light dots like NVIDIA. It can be real analog lightning. And so that somewhat tests that. Um, I'll come up with a few other ideas. So what you would do is you'd have the, the final test be physical matter tests. So you'd have, like, humans picking fruits from trees like coconuts and things and some of them rolling and they always dynamically drop and roll and you can like bump the character models as they're standing on stands by the trees and like they'll roll off different directions because nvidia doesn't have that it doesn't have any magnetic rounding it just renders a calculated distance it'll roll based on the flat terrain lines that are hidden underneath the rendered ground so uh ati and uh, amd does render those type of round physics even within a flat planar environment so what you do is you know they have their dropping fruits that type of thing happens and you can also make the character models interact with each other like slap each other and do different things and uh, arm wrestle various things that are very like the amount of render units per second on nvidia would just make the, it just wouldn't render it you'd be spending a uh, six months on an arm wrestle yeah. And it can just do it immediately live in camera and make it look like their muscles are tensing, their tendons are standing out because everything's fully physically rendered inside of the character model and doesn't so you can like click through the skin would be the final option and see the activated like lights appearing on the muscle render units because yeah. they can actually do that at this point for more realism. And it just is miles ahead of Nvidia and all these effects combined just make everybody say wow, holy shit. All right, here's what it is. Everybody's using, anyways, they're using, <laughs> it, I'm sorry, it won't even, it won't even go to me. It, it, it's just hanging there out. There we go. Okay, um, they're using, um, NVIDIA because their bodies their hearts are all spun up on their chests, and so all their ribs are off. You see that their abdominals will be off, whereas mine are straight, because you have to work out straight. No one has. They can't use AMD, because AMD uses lines that are going straight, continuously both directions. And so that's too much data at once. Your eyes, it is true, have to process data into your skull and use your body as like an energy storage bank for that. And so when your ribs are all off and your muscles like that, then you're less likely to be able to render something. Most of these big action stars, their bodies have no electricity flow, so they can't render much. And so they have to learn to work out into relaxing instead of into tightening. That's all. I forgot to add one more form of render to the list of things that needs to be rendered, and it would be cloth. The difference here is that there was a Prince of Persia game that had ATI cloth. They try to like remove all the unique physics and pretend that a physx is the best thing ever, when it's just basically saying, we installed like a, a program in your game that will not allow you to run it as well on ATI and a few settings are turned off. That's all it is. You should forget ATI. It was merged with AMD so long ago. You keep acting like it's relevant. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Anyways, well, well I'll just say AMD from then on. Yeah. Um, my point is that AMD has uh, the best when it comes to cloth. Like, you can, you'd have a physics simulation. This would be the last one where you have a bunch of statues with cloth on them blowing in a breeze in a, a Greek temple and then you have cloths hanging on all these alcove entrances between yeah. pillars and they blow every direction and fog blows through the cloth and creates condensation on them and build up and like then you can ignite the fog and it'll burn them and they'll realistically burn and move in the burning with a simple render program that makes them respond to the burning as if it's air convection directions and they'll whip around 
And you can even have little broken chunks of like pieces of the cloth whip off and you know burn out into ash in the air, and it'll look infinitely realistic in comparison to the uh, competition of that we currently have. 